So Brick tops back on the spin campaign again for his pathological liar of a client Tyson Fury. You wouldn't even bother calling it PR at this point, it's just pure spin. Man's like Fatboy Slim, Carl Cox and Danny Ramplin all rolled into one. He's out here claiming that Fury's desperate to fight AJ and he was desperate to fight Usyk. First of all, Fury has mentioned about five different opponents in the past month alone. Why didn't he offer AJ the fight right after he beat Jermaine Franklin? Why has he waited all this time to when AJ already has plans in place for a huge money fight with Wilder? Man expects everyone to just stop what they're doing and dance to his tune at the drop of a hat. Turn down a much bigger payday to fight him instead. Now personally, I think AJ's got a better chance against Fury than he has against Wilder stylistically. Not that he beats either of them necessarily, but I think Fury's style just suits him better. Nevertheless, I can fully understand why Joshua wouldn't prioritize Fury over Wilder at this point because Fury's just completely untrustworthy. He's shown that time and time again. And as for Usyk, yeah, Fury was so desperate to fight him that he moved the goalposts in negotiations four times. Early in 2022, Usyk was ready to unify, but Fury demanded a tune-up when he just fought Wilder a couple months earlier. Scuppered the whole thing. Then in late 2022, with a second round of negotiations, the fight was originally supposed to be in Saudi. Usyk signed for it there. He was ready to go again. But after several weeks of messing around and running down the clock, Fury said no. He said the fight must be moved to the UK where everyone makes less money and he has home advantage. But Usyk agreed. Aram and Bricktop both originally said it should be a 50-50 split, but Fury moved the goalposts on that as well and said he wanted 70-30 in his favor. When Usyk agreed to that too, Fury moved the goalposts once again at the last minute over the rematch clause, which his own team put in the contract in the first place. And you've got the audacity to say he was desperate for the fight, Frank. Give it a rest. You sound ridiculous, man. The only thing he was desperate for was to avoid the fight. And thankfully, the vast majority of fans realize that now. You can see from the comments on these Frank Warren interviews. You've even got Fury fans like Simon Jordan calling out the BS now. Carl Frotch is calling out Fury's BS. He can't pull the wool over people's eyes anymore. They're not going for it, Frank. The jig is up. You're just making yourself look silly now, defending Fury's ridiculous lies. Not even Bob Arum's doing that anymore. He's taken a step back. He still works with Aegis Klimas and Alex Krasuk, and Fury's antics were making him look bad. So Bricktop's the one left holding the baby, running PR and spin for the biggest liar in boxing. Why don't he take the Usyk fight in Saudi, Frank, since he's so desperate for it, as you claim? Everyone else is negotiating with the Saudis. How come your man's not? It's a massive payday. What's the issue? You need to go spin some old vinyl, Frank. Burt Bacharach or Johnny Cash and stop spinning stories. No one's buying it, bruv. Give it a rest. Go put your feet up and hand the reins over to George because you just sound like a wally now every time you open your mouth. It's embarrassing.